Hello and welcome to Lloyd South Lakes BMW. Today we have this X5 30D M Sport. This car is finished off in Tanzanite blue metallic and is a September 2020 registered vehicle. Some fantastic options selected over the standard specification of this car, which I will run through with you now. Setting off the front of the car, we've got the high gloss shad line finish that uh, gives us the black grills. It ties in very nice into the M Sport bumper. That moves round to the BMW laser lights. So it's a full LED system with the laser added on as well. So for the main beam, you have a laser system uh, which basically doubles the intensity to a standard by LED setup. So that's about a 500 meter range on it and it is phenomenal really. The, the clarity and the depth of light you have at night with this system. That also links in as well to the high beam assistance. That's where the car will actually automatically raise and lower the main beam based on what's going around it at night, the traffic. You can actually create boxes of light around vehicles. Um, yet again, just a phenomenal system. This car is running the 21 inch M light alloy wheel. We have this bicolor finish to them. So we've got this diamond cut front, with the darker gray inlay. And it really does set off the, the M brake calipers there, the M sport braking system, the operated calipers for this car. X5 stand is also on S suspension on the front and the rear, so I've got it currently less set in its lower setting. When the video finishes, I'll raise it up so you can see it also on the higher settings. Five settings with 20 volt increments running through that system. Moving around the car, this car's also got the rear sun protection glass, that's the rear tinted windows. Obviously, it adds an element of privacy for the rear of the car, and there is a UV element there as well. So it does help keep the cabin a bit cool on the hot days and protect the passengers from some of those harmful UV rays. Power tailgate as stand on the X5 that can be divided the key. And we also have this split folding tailgate on the X5. And you also have the option to lower the air suspension as well from the rear of the car if you haven't done so whilst getting out. Look if it pulls out the way, this car actually has a luggage protector in there as well. Right below that, it's a very handy, useful storage underneath. And also a section here as well to put in the load cover. So if you have got a large item you need to fit in the boot, you can actually stow that away in the vehicle, drop the rear seats down, and you've got some fantastic capacity there. Those rear seats can actually be operated by two levers, one on either side, which will drop them down. So that can all be done from the rear of the car. What we also have in this vehicle as well is the electric folding tow bar. So a little button there, and the system itself will swing out and pop it there. Also has the electric adapter built into it as well, so a very neat system. Let me just push that button again. And it will disappear like so. Moving around to the rear of the car. Got the black Vanaskan leather running throughout this vehicle with some lovely contrast stitching. Also some nice perforated sections as well running through the seats, doing some details off. Talk about details. We also have the M seat belts and the M stitching across all five seat belts in the car. The passenger also has some ventilation controls there, temperature and airflow. There's also a 12 volt socket down, lower down, for charging mobile devices. Moving to the front of the vehicle. See some of those details on the door car as well, that contrasting grey stitching. So it runs up to the window controls, mirror controls. You also have the memory functionality as well for the seats built in here, two stage. That will also remember things like the mirror setup and also the electric adjustable steering wheel. And this vehicle also has the fantastic Harman Kardon Dolby 7 Shan Sound Hi Fi system. Electric seats stand on the X5, side bolts to support there, that controls the lower base and the backrest there as well. 
That's the beautiful M Sport seats as well. Loads of side to sport. It's that lovely perforation again running through the, the central part of the seat. And that stitching detail as well. Right, stepping into the X5. Start the car up, fires everything into life. We've got the latest BMW Live Cockpit Professional here. The central, fully digital dashboard. Very configurable, very easy to set it up, giving the information that you want to see. This car also benefits from having as well the head up display. Hopefully, there we go, we can get into focus there. So, we are currently showing we have the speed on the right and the speed limit on the left. So, this old car also has a speed limit display. That's a system where it will actually use a camera in the rear view mirror as well as the satellite navigation to read road signs um, and actually tell you the actual speed limit of the current road. Fantastic system, just keeping you safe and letting you know what's going on. Moving across, the latest OS7 operating system. Got these different pages we can scroll through and toggle through to give us different information, relevant information that you want to know. Full touchscreen system, as you can see, I'm using now. Very easy to use as well, part or from a passenger point of view. I might pull then enlarge and fill up the almost the entirety of the screen. And we also have voice activation on this vehicle, along with the iDrive dial gesture controls, lots of different ways to interact with the technology in this vehicle. Full dual zone climate control is standard. We've got the heated front seats there. We've also got all the audio options there down the left. Soft touch slides out the way. Additional USB port, a wireless charging pad up here on the left-hand side. Obviously cup holders there next to that 12 volt socket. Like I said, throw interest the iDrive dial. We've got the air, adjustable air suspension here. So I'm just going to move that up now to the highest setting when we get out. Full auto hold system with a hill descent. This car's also got the adaptive air suspension as well, so that'll adapt to how you're driving. Not only the suspension, but throttle response, steering input, depending on how you're driving the car. Fantastic options as well. We've got the full parking assistant plus. Gives this amazing 360 degree view. Um, in the auto mode as it is in now, as you get approaching something, whether front or the rear, this camera position will swing around and move. It also gives you full parking assistant as well, so that means the car will power up park and park into bays for you, and also reversing assistance, so a very trick system. Also zoom in on the tow hitch, give you an idea to help you when you're having to load up. Turn that down. Um, like I said, I've got the full parking mode, 3D view, so you can zoom around the car if you want see different areas and this also links with the BMW app as well and you can have the same view via the app. Linked with that as well we also have the new BMW drive recorder so that's a sort of built-in um, dash cam for the car. It uses the, um, You can choose which cameras you want to use. Obviously we've got the full 360 which you can record with. Um, set up for if there's any accidents occur. The car also has a heat comfort package. All that gives you is we have a heated steering wheel and we also have heated armrests, so that's on the door cards, both front passengers, and this heated central section as well. So it's supremely comfortable here in, in the winter, like I said, with the heated steering wheel, heated seats. I'm sure your contact points are really nicely looked after. This car has 4,085 miles on it. It's been used by one of our managers here, so it'll be registered to ourselves. As I mentioned, it's a September 2020 vehicle. Some fantastic options in this car. Over the standard X5 specification. As we get out now, you can see the difference in the ride height there. As I said, I've got five increments from the lower setting. 20 mil increments can be raised by 80 mil from its lowest sort of park setting. It does adjust manually, uh, sorry, manually, automatically as you're driving, so at higher speeds the car will actually automatically lower to make the car handle better at higher speeds and a bit more air efficiency as well. Hope this video's been of use. Anything else we can do to help today? Please do let us know. One of our sales executives would be more than happy to help.